YouTube, what's up? Blue Witch here. Let me light Hecate and Cornunus' candles real quick. And I did um I did do a special why are you like like that? I did a special candle for Hecate and Cornunus for tonight's spell. And I put the love herbs, the same herbs that I'm going to be putting in, in this spell on their candle. And I'm going to um, try to fix the camera because it looks weird or something. I don't know. Like, yeah. Alright, hopefully that will be just right. I don't know. But we'll see. Much better. Okay, so tonight we're doing a love spell. Now, this love spell is a little different, okay? Um, this love spell, I hope, I didn't even, I'm sure it's fine, but she's not answering my messages anyways, so couldn't ask if I wanted to, but anyways, that's cool. I got it. So, um, this love spell is a little different, and I don't want you guys to, like, um, be judging or passing judgment on this person, because unless you've been in this situation, um, you can't, and besides, it's her life, what, what the fuck do you care, you know, kind of thing. So, anyways, let me just go over what I have going here first, and then I'll get into a little bit of the story, Okay. So first thing I did for this spell was I dressed, I carved in the candle Hecate on one side, Cornunus on the other. I put the same herbs that I'm putting in the spell on their candle and I wrapped the string around it, the same string that I'm going to be, that I used for, the, to, for their candle and it has the same amount of knots, okay, is 13 knots. Um... Their candle has thir was wrapped 13 times. This candle has 13 knots because that's what I was told to put on it. Okay. Um, I did a petition in the shape of a heart because it's for love. Everybody likes love. And then I have their pictures here. I'm going to go ahead and cut those out real quick. And, um, and then we will get started. Oopsie. Okay. So. Oh, I love these pictures. They're so cute. Okay. So on their petition, I put his name on one side of the heart, her name on the other side of the heart. And then in the middle, I put love, lust, marriage, and a couple of other things that I felt led to put. Um, as I was creating the knots, um, when I do the knots, I like to do them off camera. I don't know if you notice that, but it's because I go into state when I'm doing these and I'm like, as I'm crossing them and tying them, I'm saying with this knot, I grant you love with this knot. I grant you lust with this knot. I grant you friendship with this knot. I grant you blah, blah, blah. And I just uh, allow source to like feed me and tell me what I'm supposed to put in this love spell. It's the same way. I'm trying not to cough. It's the same thing I do when I pull herbs. Um, they just like tell me, you know, tell me what I need to use, whatever. So I do the, it's the same thing I do when I do these knots. Um, <coughs> knew it was coming. See, you know how I always tell you each knot is a spell all by itself. Um, and it is because each knot I'm putting intent in and I'm, and I'm telling it, you know, I'm telling it something different each knot. And so anyways, so this, you can't see it because they're, I don't know, maybe you can. Rumbler, stop it. I don't want to hear that noise. Go lay down and be a good boy. Anyways, so, I don't know if you guys could see it. Anyways, 
It's the same color as the candle, so it's really hard to see. So we're going to, um, so pictures and petition is on this. And then I have this. Rumbler. Are you okay? What are you doing? Are you my boy? Yes, you're a good boy. All right, can you go lay down for me, please, and quit making all those weird noises? Thank you. Good boy. Okay. Anyways, so I'm going... Rumbler, go. Don't get into my stuff, buddy. Go. Anyway, so I'm going to put their pictures face to face. And then I'm going to put them on top of the petition like this. And then I'm going and then I got this cute little heart candle dish thingy and I'm going to put um it the heart thing right over the heart petition. Um this is for lust. Um and this one is for lust also. Um, I like this one because it has sparkles, but they also have a knot on each one of them, just one. And they were also oiled and, and dressed with herbs, okay? I haven't oiled and put the herbs on the big candle yet. I'm going to do that next. But first, I just wanted to get all of this set up first because it takes a long time to set this stuff up. Like, doing this takes me like 20 minutes just doing this so you know by the time you get everything pulled you get all your herbs ground up you get your oils ready you know it takes time you got to go in and get the pictures printed <coughs> go lay down you're being naughty go go please what are you doing anyways um i have some crushed up crystals um, that I'm going to put in with these herbs before I dress the candle. I'm going to put some in here. Um, so I'm putting the crushed up crystals, which are amethyst and quartz. Okay. And there's rose quartz in here too. Just a couple of them. There's one right there. All right. Okay. So we got our crystals in there. And there we go. Okay, so now, can you see? This is nice. Okay, now you can see better, right? All right, so now I'm going to be using this stuff out of the way a little bit. Um, this is the oil that I made a while back. It's almost gone. I'm gonna have to remember how I made it and make some more because it's really good. Um, it's really strong though, and it always makes me cough it look at what a pretty pink color it is isn't that cute all right and i am using a beautiful um swirly red candle i love it it's so pretty um, I usually save these kind for like ceremonies, but I really felt like I wanted to use it for this one for some reason, so, yeah. You know, you gotta, I always like to change it up a little. I hate doing the same spell over and over. I don't like it. Well, I don't hate it, but you know, it's like, I know if it works really good, then I don't mind doing it again, but sometimes I just like to change it up. It's just me. I like to change it up. 
so pretty. Oh, I love it. Um, you know, when you get a spell like this done, it's so hard um, to wait. Because sometimes it's instant, you know, and sometimes there's obstacles in the way that have to be taken care of first and you have to wait for them. And, ah, it's so hard. So my suggestion to you who have had this kind of work done for you and you're waiting, you know, for everything to get dealt with and stuff is burn a candle like every Friday night or, you know, get a, or something, you know, whatever you want to do, just get a candle, a white one or a red one or whatever color pertains to your, to your spell. And like on that day, the day when, you know, it, it's relevant, go ahead and burn a candle that day and just speak to the candle and tell it what you want, you know? Sometimes you just gotta do that. Just to keep yourself sane. You know, cause waiting is hard. I hate waiting. Um, I, I like everything to go really fast too. But sometimes it doesn't. And then, when it does happen, I'm like, yes. I get really excited. I don't think it's going to stay. I think it's going to fall. I'm going to have to use some of this wax. Yeah, it was in there pretty good, but that's okay. We're going to move it up a little anyways. Don't want to take any chances. This big old candle. Um, but anyway, so how have you guys been doing? You guys been having fun doing all this Halloween shopping and getting things ready for fall and um, yes, it's time. Thank goodness, do you know that up in our mountains this weekend we're supposed to get snow? I'm so excited about that. so excited about that. Can't even tell you how excited I am. Okay, let's put the rest of this in here. And then after these all burn down, I will dump everything, the wax, whatever's left of the wax and the ashes and the herbs and everything. I will put them on the pictures and the petition put it all in there and then I'm gonna fold the heart in half like this so that they're all together in the heart and then I will burn this and seal it seal it around the heart paper you know and um, that's my plan oh, I made a bit of a mess didn't I what else is new right all right Okay, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and light these. And it's going to go out. I've never had that happen before. Okay, we can relight that sucker. You bet your sweet ass. There's no wind or anything. Maybe it's because I was too close. See how it's reacting to my energy?
Isn't that cute? I love it. It's so pretty. What are these guys, this candle doing? They're completely nice. Last time I did this, Hecate came in and freaked me out a little bit. <laughs> so. I have no idea. Unless it's like getting energy from this candle. Awesome. There's a little thing in the middle. Then. I'm just dancing to the music, I guess. I don't know. I think it's getting energy from these candles down here and it's causing it to do that. But I don't know. you guys I guess I will let you go I think this is beautiful and I'm going to do my incantation now got everything burning pretty good so I'm gonna go ahead and start putting my energy into it and um, we shall see what happens never a dull moment spell. I got my rose quartz all around it. I got rose quartz pebbles inside there. And all kinds of love herbs, love oil, lust oil. I got my amethyst stone right here, my great big one right here. And I will let you guys go and I will keep you posted on how this one turns out in the end because it's going crazy. I think it just likes the music because there's no wind or anything in here. I have everything closed up because it's been cold. So cool. Alright you guys, I will talk to you later. Bye!